We're here in San Diego, California, covering the Marvel Experience. Now, it's a fully interactive event where you're able to go ahead and train as a S.H.I.E.L.D. recruit to mix, mix it up with so many different characters. Iron Man, Hulk, Thor, you name it, you're probably gonna run into them here. There's a lot of Easter eggs, a lot of things that are happening here, and we're gonna go ahead and check it out. Now, since this place is so large, I mean, it's really big. It's over 100,000 square feet of my childhood dreams. I had to make sure I brought somebody else along with me from the hashtag newsfeed, and that's Joe. Hey. <laughs> Thanks for bringing me out here, this is awesome. To oh, be man. on your hot spot. Yeah, you know, I'm thinking it's good. You know, it's good. So we're going to go check out some stuff, see what's yeah. happening. Yes, what are you most excited about? Oh, man, all right. I heard about this dome, and this thing is supposed to be, like, huge. So I need to see it. There's an, a lot of interactive games that I want to try. This seems like a lot of fun. I can't wait. Oh, man. Oh, before we go, before we go. Right. Now, I know you're going to see it, and you're going to know it right off the bat. A lot of people say, I kind of look like somebody from the Marvel experience. Okay. Now, I know you, you're you probably thinking it too, so we'll say it on three, okay? Ready? One, two, three. Tony Fury. Stark. What? So I'm here with Doug, co-founder of the Marvel Experience. And Doug, just a few questions if I can. Fire away, <laughs> um, well, essentially, how did you guys come up with this? We just thought big. We were fans just like the rest of you. Uh -huh. And we were trying to imagine, what is it that people want to see? This is made by fans for fans. What it came down to was, we realized we're jaded. We're New Yorkers, we live in, in Los Angeles. There are themed attractions. Uh, everywhere within distance of us, whether it's in Florida, New York, uh, or Los Angeles. And the idea was to to take a themed attraction really to the fans, to a parking lot near you. It's sort of like bringing the mountain to Muhammad, if you will. <laughs> so, it looks like we have to compile this little game here to uh, to get pieces of the Super Adapt to it. So let's figure this out. All right, I think I'm pretty good at this right now. I, I no, no, let, let's, let's be real. We know I'm gonna win. Now, as far as like just the technology, I mean, there's so much here. There's it's expansive how much there is. There's uh, the the dome itself. Uh, what is that? A, a 3D? What what's the name for it? You're referring to the the 3D projection dome, which is it's typically called stereoscopic full dome projection. And essentially, for those of you who don't know what that means, I can't explain it to you. You have to experience it yourself. But imagine that you are at a 3D movie, and you turn your head to the right, the left. I just go backwards, look up, you lose the third dimension. In our dome, which is sort of like a planetarium, you're wearing 3D glasses, you're looking around, and as you guys experienced, you never lose the 3D. It's all around you. You cannot just look one way because there's something happening behind you or over you, and you never lose the third dimension. It requires 12 projectors. It is incredibly complex. We first saw it up at a... At a um, a site in South uh, in Salt Lake City, excuse me. Um, it is uh, it was a simulation technology that was uh, a defense contractor had put together, and we recreated it here uh, to bring it to the mainstream and use the Marvel IP as the first opportunity for mainstream fans to be able to experience something like that. How many of those have you had? Listen, better question is, can you do the Spider-Man wall climb? But how many of you had? <laughs> Just enough to make this enter, just enough to make this Spider-Man wall climb super entertaining. Do it. All right, I'm in.
Wow. I mean, also, I mean, you're you're bringing so many things in. You're bringing in virtual reality, augmented reality, uh, the dome itself. There's so much happening here. What are some of the things that we don't see that are here? Like I've heard other people mention things concerning gaming. Is there something that's happening there with There's, that? It's a great question. There's um, Accessibility is the biggest challenge of a show like this. As you can imagine, this is a show for everyone. We are fortunate to be here in the home of Comic-Con, and we're fans ourselves. So there, there is something for everyone. There are nuggets, there are Easter eggs, there are uh, voiceovers for the Comic-Con fanboy. But there's also something for my four-year-old and my seven-year-old who are coming this afternoon. My parents were in Dallas. My grandpa's coming tomorrow. He's 95 years old. He was in World War II. Captain America was created by Stan and the group in 1943, 70 years ago. So the challenge is to make something that has something that is really accessible to every different group. Because if I just made it for fanboys, then no one would come. If I just made it for my dad, no one would come. So it's it's one of the biggest challenges that we have. There are certain elements that you will really appreciate. The voiceovers, for instance. Did you notice any of the voiceovers? Uh, yeah, actually a few. A few. Kevin, a Kevin Smith yes. is Modoc. Uh, you had the Stan Lee Easter egg where you had him at Stan Lee Lieberman. And then um, the Hulk. Stan, he was great. <laughs> And then you had the Hulk also. The Hulk and was Triple H, who's the, the you know WWE champion and uh, and chief uh, creative officer, I believe, uh, of the WWE. Maria Menounos was in there. You had uh, Keith David, one of my favorite actors, was Fury. Uh, yeah, that's right. He's fantastic. You had um, Nolan North, who has voiced Iron Man and Tony Stark in virtually every medium except for the motion pictures, which is obviously Robert Downey Jr and an entire cast that played She-Hulk to Jocasta to Captain America that is renowned for voicing those characters on Saturday morning to more sophisticated gaming. So bringing something different, there's a lot of Easter eggs in there, references to Matt Murdock in different places that are teases for other things that we're doing. They may go over some people's heads, but they're only meant for the most ardent fans. On the other hand, there are things for eight, nine, ten-year-olds who don't have the depth of background and understanding of the Marvel Universe, but want a totally different experience. So that's what we try to do, is blend all those things, because really what we're trying to do is get people to have fun. So we finished our first portion of testing, at least going through a few things. Um, I kind of hurt myself in the laser thing. I don't know for sure. And the, the Spider-Man wall crawl. You definitely hurt yourself in the Spider-Man wall crawl, at yeah, least I, your ego. I, I, my ego and my hip. So upon finishing our first round of training, we actually got something pretty cool. It's a badge. It goes right on your bracelet, so this way you can actually feel like you're part of the team. How long are you guys going to be here in San Diego, and where are you going to next? So we are here in San Diego through the 22nd. Um, so you've got another two and a half weeks to come out here and experience this. And then unfortunately, we won't be back for a year. Um, but we're excited and we've got a slew of, uh, of tour stops coming up that you can check out on our website and we'll be announcing more in the near future. Well, that was the Marvel experience here in San Diego. You guys better make sure you see it because it's not going to be back for another year. Now, I know that they're going to other cities. What'd they say? I don't know. San Francisco, I think, is the next one. And then after that, they're going so many other places. They're getting ready. Um, they're we here went for two weeks, though. Two, two weeks. weeks in San Diego. Not bad. And also, I got to say, I didn't become a hero, but I'm more than just a S.H.I.E.L.D. recruit. Joe became a hero, though. Kind of. I did all right in that... Uh and that laser thing, but you did pretty good in the Spider-Man climb. Spider-Man climb was where I excelled. The laser part, I just kind of stood there. I didn't even move. I let you just do everything. That was it. It was a lot of fun. If you're, you know, this is a great place for family, um, and it's super affordable. That's the great thing. And it's not a theme park. No. It's a theme attraction. So you don't have to spend all day here, but I guarantee you have a good time. Yeah, I mean, two hours, 
and maybe a little bit more if you want to hang around, eat, do some other stuff. And if you're an adult, there is beverages here. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So come on down, check it out. Make sure you guys don't forget to check them out on website, which is themarvelexperience.com, and buy some tickets. Buy some tickets. We'll see you out here. Bye, guys.